government. Very different situation. Do you, do you know what the technical term is for an economy where the private sector is rolled into the authority of the state? It's fascism. We're no. talking about, no, yeah, we're talking about fascism. The only thing you've been able to praise about the, um, about the Chinese government is that they elevated- I you didn't equate communists with fascists, so now you oh, do. Well, well, wait, of course, because you're not a communist and China is not a communist mm -hmm. country. So okay. this is just me okay. calling a fascist defender a fascist. Yeah, you're literally okay. just so defending the China. That whoa, 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 whoa. The you're Panthers. literally oh, just okay. defending- Let's try not to talk over each other. You're okay. just okay. defending right. China on the- Let him finish. You're just defending China on the premise of its authoritarianism. That's it. You're arguing like, well, it elevated the country and made them wealthier. You can make that argument for Adolf Hitler. The blood spoils of the uh, of the war elevated the material wealth of his country too. That is irrelevant when we're talking about the extent to which China is actually a socialist country. Every time you defend it, all you're doing is defending the extent to which the state has the ability to interfere in the market. That's not socialism. That's never been socialism. The workers aren't elevated in China. America has more worker rights than China is. I say with full and 100% confidence that the United States of America is more of a proletarian state than China is. And that's really saying something because I am not a big fan of America. This is my issue with like the tanky aligned people. I don't think you give a fuck about socialism. I don't think you give a fuck about the workers. What I do think is that you hate America, which works in line with you working for RT and having been on Iranian state TV before. I think you're more interested in propping up state actors that oppose American geopolitical interests than you are in actually making life better for anybody. It. Okay, fine. My apo okay, my it's apologies. Like the reason you're calling out my bullshit is because you keep assuming I give a fuck about what anyone <laughs> says about their beliefs. I'm trying to judge people based on their actions, which is what you said was a legitimate way of engaging right. in inductive reasoning earlier. So let me ask you a question, okay? So we agree racism is a thing, I imagine. How would you feel? Or le like, let's take a scenario, okay? You're a kid, or you're like a 16 year old. You've got a father, white father, suburbs, the whole nine yards, white picket fence. And this father, for the most part, perfectly reasonable person, decent, wears a sweater vest, great guy, okay? But then your sister goes out with a black guy and your father gets real fucking mad about it. Now he doesn't say anything like, I think all whites are superior to black people, but he's clearly uncomfortable meeting the guy. He clenches his fist. He talks to his daughter saying like, hey, listen, I want you going out with the right kinds of people, okay? He never outwardly confirms anything, but all of his behavior seems to indicate that he's got a racial bias. Now, do you think it would be fair of me to look at that behavior and say, hey, dad, you're kind of fucking racist, even though I can point to years of precedent of that dad ostensibly being in favor of racial egalitarianism. This is the joke people make about all the fucking like liberals and Karens who are like these big woke progressives online, but then when it actually comes down to it, they harbor <coughs> some pretty severe biases. That's my concern. I don't actually place much um, credence in what people say about themselves. At the end of the day, it's about the actions they engage in. Then, but then basically, if you are here to establish like whether or not I am a white supremacist, and you're saying that what the standard you're trying to set is, don't place credence in what other people say, but you somehow get to act as the voice of authority to your thousands of viewers, and they're supposed to believe what you say. You've kind of discredited like no, 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 no. I'm not saying you can't believe what people say. I'm saying you can't believe what people say about themselves. I'm just trying to make arguments as to why a reasonable person might interpret your behavior as racist. Right, I don't find it very reasonable when my jokes are treated as actual factual statements about my beliefs, but whenever I make actual serious statements about my beliefs, those are disregarded. Okay, That's because jokes are a good way, thoughts. jokes are a form of communication that can harbor underlying intent. Do you do think you it's possible that a person can make racist jokes to signal racism? Do you, do you want